Hi everyone, welcome to today's Five Minute Friday. And this is almost like a double video because um, these runner beans here were in one of our Doug plant boxes. So I'm doing this video, one for everybody, so they know what to do when they're potting up their, their runner bean seedlings and when to do it. But also it's very, very apt uh, if you are someone who subscribes to our Doug plant box, and I know lots of you are. So what we're gonna do, we sowed some runner beans um, a few weeks ago for the Doug plant box, okay? And they grow nice and quick. I think it surprised so many people how quickly they grow. So if you sown your runner beans or if you haven't done it quite yet, they get to this sort of size quite quickly, okay? And I'm gonna do one of two things with them. So first off, what you need to think about is that they are not frost hardy, so they won't cope with frost. So we need to keep them relatively warm until the risk of frost has gone. Traditionally, now that can be all the way to the end of May in the part of the UK, that we are not a million miles from London, we're that way. Um, but a lot of people get away with planting them out in May. So bear that in mind, you don't want to plant them out too early. With that in mind, one of them I'm going to plant into here, and you can probably see a nice robin that's jumping around singing in the background. Um, one of uh, them I'm gonna plant into here, the whole pot in here. The other one I'm gonna separate up and put them into a nine centimeter pot each. The reason for separating them is potentially you haven't got a warm spot to pot them up and put this pot in. If you've got a conservatory or a greenhouse, you'll have room for this kind of size pot with no problems at all and we're cane them as well so you'll have room for that okay but if you haven't got room for that and you need when you pot them up or put them into the ground you need room for something like that then go into the nine centimeter first because that is not going to fit on your windowsill it's as simple as that okay so we go for separating them first so i've got some seedlings here what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pull them out of this pot okay so I'm just pull them out and you can see a nice well-established root ball there. These grow so quickly. So what we want to do is just separate them up. So you can be relatively gentle. You can't be too gentle. You are going to have to break some roots. And what we're looking to do is separate them. You can see we've done that here. Okay. Simple as that. Okay. So we separate them up. You can put one in a pot, you can put two or three in a pot. Let's go for this one here, so a nice long one here. So that one there, we're going to pot up. So I'll get my pot. You can use some of the compost that you've broken off. Okay, just like that, and I'm just going to plant it in there. Simple as that. I'll get some compost and just top it up. Okay, just like that. Okay, now this plant will continue to grow. I'm not pushing it down, I'm just firming down the compost. This pot will continue to grow, um, and when we're ready to plant it out or put it into a container, um, it's going to be that much bigger. Um, it gives it a bit more space to grow um, because they do grow so, so quickly. And when you buy them from a garden centre, if you buy them in a pot, there could be 10, 15 in a pot um, or in a strip. Um, so separating them up is absolutely ideal. So I just repeat the process with all of these. Um, some of them I might put two in. Some of them I'll only put one in, okay? So as easy as that. So that one I've got two in. I just top that up like that. Now, as you can see, from planting them like that, what that means is we've given them a bit more space to grow. They're not going to be as crowded as they were previously. And also we can still keep them in a warm spot with no issues at all. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. Nice and easy to do. That gives them a bit more space to grow um, and gives you a bit more time in a warm spot. Okay, like so this, this one here, just as easy to do, but clearly this, unless you've got a massive windowsill, it's just not gonna work, okay? So what we wanna do with this one is I'm gonna keep them all together. So I'm gonna plant this straight in this compost, okay? 
Um, so I make a little hole in the center, which I can't tip up to show you. So all I'm gonna do, just give it a nice squeeze, release the plants and just place them in there, just like that. So I've put it in the center. This is quite a big pot, but this is ideal if you're growing runner beans in pots, okay? So I put it in the center, then we've got these, okay? These garden canes, okay? What I'm gonna do is form a triangle. So you won't be able to see the top. We'll show you the top in a second. So I'm just gonna push that nice and deep in there. And we're gonna form a triangle just like that. Almost to the edge of the pot. Just like that, push them nice and evenly. And then in the top, there's loads of different ways of doing it. You can use um, string, you can use loads and loads of different stuff. What I find really, really useful is a cable tie. We have a lot of cable ties around because we post out a lot and the bags are secured with cable ties. So I've just stolen one of those from the packing area. And all I'm gonna do is just do that, okay? So that's all you have to do now. That can go in your conservatory, it can go in a greenhouse or a nice warm spot. If you know you're not gonna get frosts, then it can go outside, but that's so much is gonna depend on the weather. Um, it's always a little bit awkward with, with plants that are a little bit tender, in as much as we've had this really, really light, sort of 10 days of fantastic spring weather, and today and yesterday, it started getting colder again. So we are allegedly potentially gonna even get some snow um, in the next next couple of days, okay? so. Don't be tempted to put them straight outside. With this one, you'll see, because we've got the canes, the plants will naturally start winding them round and you can encourage them, no issue at all. Just encourage them to climb up and it's as simple as that, okay? Any questions at all with all of our 5 Minute Fridays and all of our videos, then get in touch. We're here to help. See you soon.